and welcome to E3D's second Kismet training video, where we'll be focusing on some of the more advanced use cases. Our primary focus will be showing many of the concepts needed to use Kismet for prototyping out different game ideas. In this example, we're going to build a top-down perspective shooter, and we're going to do it all only using Kismet, which is the visual scripting language in Unreal Engine 3 and the Unreal Development Kit. By restricting ourselves to only using Kismet, it allows us to focus on creative problem solving, and approaching tasks with some different perspectives. More importantly, it allows us to test and iterate out our implementation very quickly, and all without writing any C++ or Unreal script code. To do this, we're going to provide examples of setting up the custom camera for the player-controlled entity, handling keyboard input events directly in Kismet, allowing us to override the controls for the player's vehicle in our top-down shooter example. We'll do this by providing an example of applying the input directly based on the key events and also a state-based method where we can correctly track dual key input uh, for handling diagonal movement. We'll set up the player firing mechanism and show two different prototyping approaches to handling projectile creation. We show examples of setting up an enemy movement and patterns by using the matinee tool as our movement controller for the enemies. Also using matinee, we time the enemy weapon firing based on the movement patterns and timings. We also make sure to cover the basics such as trigger volume usage for level streaming and enemy activation for users who are new to Kismet. An important element to any prototype is communication, and one of the best ways you can do that is on-screen information. So we go over using the drawing text function or action in Kismet, and we set up a simple scoring system for the game to display the player's score. Organization and readability of scripting is also important, so we cover the use of subsequences, remote events, global and named variables, and good commenting practices. Level organization is an important aspect when working in small and large team settings, so we provide examples for setting up level streaming using Kismet to control when and how those levels are streamed in. And to wrap things up, we show how to set up a simple matinee controlled camera flyby intro for the level to make sure that we start things off with a nice visual flare. Alright, let's get started. 